Here's how I would determine a game developer's skill level and how they might level up. Level 1. Enthusiasts. You're interested by the craft of game development, but don't know any of the details that make games work. I'd recommend following basic programming tutorials and either using Raylib or the Godot game engine to get started as soon as possible to capitalize on your enthusiasm to gain skill. Level 2. Capable. You're able to do some basic things and do them well, but you can't adapt your skills yet to different interesting things. More fundamental knowledge applied towards games would free you up. If you're willing to work hard to gain lots of skills, then I recommend committing to Handmade Hero. Dive deeper into why things work the way they do, and don't be afraid of doing toy projects in assembly for learning, for example. Level 2. Alternate Path. Uncapable. You studied how things fundamentally work, but you have no idea what goes into making a game work on a computer. You should really get to work applying your brain development towards games as soon as possible. It should become a way you think. Start experimenting with how you can use your knowledge to make games, but don't be afraid if your understanding is not perfect for game making. You must feel free to change your understanding such that it is better for game development. And the only way to do that is to start making games. Get started. Level 3. Falling into place. You now have a fundamental understanding and are able to do many things in games with that. Most importantly, you should explore this tree of all the different things you can do and the problems that are to be solved. This is an exponential growth and you will be only limited by the amount of work you put in. Try to go in a direction of making interesting games that go beyond what someone has done before. With your understanding and knowledge, you can peep at the source code of old games like Doom and Command and Conquer for a brief inspiration, but even more important is that you apply yourself towards projects. Level 4. Advanced. At this point, you've made many games and have a good understanding of how computers fundamentally work. You can adapt to any engine or write your own. System design comes naturally. Any gaps in your knowledge can be quickly filled with research, and it manifests well with your fundamental understanding. You can do a lot of things, but only some of them are interesting and elevate your craft. This is where I am. I'd recommend taking weekends with the intent of learning about something that you've put off for a while. Experiment and research what is already known about the topic, and add the high-level knowledge to your toolbox. Level 5. Beyond Me. Always be looking to improve. Even Casey Miratori, after decades, says he's always learning programming and getting better, and that something would be wrong if he wasn't. Let alone game design, which is not his main study. Whatever way you spend your energy is valuable for where you'll go. These levels are just another fun way to think about the very complicated journey that we're all on and maybe they made you reflect on something useful. If you're interested in learning game development or furthering your craft, enjoy this book I wrote. Awesome Game Dev has many anecdotes, inspirations, and useful resources to learn from. I sought to push your brain in interesting directions for the sake of the craft. Available on Amazon via the link in the description.